Hello, this is a prepaid call from Kimberly an inmate at a Florida Department of Corrections institution. So it's it's been ruled accidental. The insurance company's paid out. Um, you, you've kind of, I suppose, moved on from this situation. How long after the fact, after this fire had happened and it had been ruled an, an accident, did you find out that actually they were looking into it as not an accident and as almost uh, potentially um, uh, done on purpose? This, this is kind of where it gets complicated because... Um, you know, we were going on with life as usual, and we had a break-in in our home like four months later. When we were rebuilding the other home, we had a break-in one night. We were both, I have to explain this, so we both had um, a permit to carry a concealed weapon. Right. When I told him it sounded like there was somebody out in the garage, um, he said, you know, get grab the gun, you know, let's walk out here. So we walked up to the garage, and the garage door was wide open. He said, well, I guess I just didn't close it, but that was kind of unusual. Mm. So he goes back to bed, and he um, he went in, he went to sleep. But me, you know, I'm kind of a worry wart, so I walked around, I checked the doors, I looked at the windows, and I went in the kids' room and, and tucked him in again, and while I was... In there, I heard like a something, a noise out in the garage, like a wrench drop. So um, I yelled like for my husband right that, that second. I yelled for him, and as I yelled for him, somebody was coming at me, and um, he didn't make any kind of sound or anything. So I still had this gun on me, and I shot at him. It was it was actually my husband that was there. I didn't realize it was him. And um, he said he had yelled out for me, and I didn't hear him. And I said I yelled out for him, and he didn't hear me. But I ended up shooting my husband. Wow. Um, 